Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to do a simple exercise where we are going to use the graphic calculator on how to draw the linear as well as a quadratic graph. So listen carefully and use, if you do not own a graphic calculator, you will be disadvantaged in level 1 and level 2. So let's go. Okay, so the first question is I want to draw a linear graph of y equals to 2x plus 6. You know there's a linear graph because the, the formula for a linear graph is y equals to mx plus c where m and c are numbers, so if that's the case, 2x plus 6 is a linear graph. So to do that, take out your calculator and we could show to do that, okay? There are two points to draw, okay? So what you do, you go into the graph function, okay? I go to menu and go to graph execute, okay? Then you're going to put the equation 2x plus 6, so 2. x is the button below the red button, the alpha button, so x is there, and you plus 6. So far so good? Great, then you execute. And then you just press the draw button or the F6 button. Draw is with F6. Press the F6 button and the graph will be drawn. But that's not good enough. You need to know where the line cuts. The two critical points is the X in the step and the Y in the step. So what you do, you're going to press G soft. F5 is G soft. Press F5. And the Y in the step is at F4. Y in the step is F4. Press the F4 button. And you can see it is 0, 6. So it's going to be 0, 6. So the x, y intercept is 0, 6. So you write the y intercept as 0, 6. So that is the first point. To find the x intercept or where the line cuts the x axis, you have to go to G solve again. And this time there's no x intercept. You instead look for root. The first number, ROT root. So you press F1 and the next number will appear and it is minus 3, 0. So you draw as minus 3, 0 and that is your x intercept or in your calculator it's called the root. So you have two points here, draw the line and you should get a pass or achieve in this question. Not too bad, right? Great. Now we shall draw the next graph. So we're going to delete the next graph. Uh, delete just F2 and then F1 and the graph or delete okay so now we look at the second graph which have a negative gradient do the same thing okay so to do the same thing we are going to draw the graph y equal to negative 3x plus 9 so again just put in a calculator y equal to negative 3 instead of the x below the red button press the x button and then plus 9 okay so just execute and draw the graph okay so the graph will be drawn but it's not good enough we need to find where is the x and the y intercept okay so to find the x the y intercept simple goes to g soft goes to y intercept which is f4 and the y intercept is 0 9 so that is your y intercept 0 9 first point second point is your root again go to g soft there's no root uh, there's no x intercept so you go to the root function and the root function then is 3 0 so the Next point is 3, 0. You got a 2 point, join the line, and that will give you an achieve. Easy, right? Great. Now we shall look at a three quadratic graph, okay? There are three types of graph in quadratic. So the first one, so again, we're going to delete. So go to exit and go to the graph, and we're going to delete F2 and F1, and the whole graph will be deleted. Okay. So the next graph we're going to draw is Y equals to x minus 2 squared minus 1 and this is the first form of the equation okay of the quadratic graph so again this time you have the y intercept the x intercept you have extra point that is called the minimum point there are four critical points in the quadratic graph so again goes to put in the equation again so uh, put in exactly what in the equation so bracket x again is the uh, symbol below the red button x minus 2 bracket squared okay and then minus 1 and then you just press the execute button and you draw it and the graph will appear so the same thing to find the y intercept here what you do you just go to g solve f4 y intercept is 0 3 so that's the first point to find the root okay this is listen carefully because this is slightly different so to find the root, g solve the root is f1 okay f1 you only get 1, 0. So the next point is 1, 0. Okay? So to find the second point, you click on the button here. Okay? The button at the uh, button here, just press again, and they will find it to be 3, 0. So that is the two 
roots of the x intercept. Then to find the minimum point, the same thing, go to G soft, and there's a minimum there, okay? You can do the minimum, just press F3, and the minimum appears as 2, negative 1. So 2, negative 1, and that's the minimum point. So you have 4.1234, join that point, and you get an achieve in that paper. Not too difficult, right? So this is the first version of the quadratic graph. The second version is the uh, factorized form, okay? So we shall look at it now, okay? The factorized form looks like that. Y equal to X minus 2, X plus 4. Again, we are going to delete that graph, F1, and F1 the formula, okay? So now we're going to put exactly in there. So bracket, X minus 2. Remember, X is below the red button. Close the bracket, open the bracket again, X plus 4. Close the bracket, and then you just put execute, and draw, and the graph will appear for you, okay? So now the next step we're going to do, the same thing we've done before, find uh, the y intercept. So G soft F4 is the y intercept, and the y intercept is 0, negative 8, so that will be your y intercept, okay? To find your x, uh, x intercept or the root, go to G soft F1 is the root, enter the first one is minus 4, 0, and to find the second one, I'll repeat again, press the button here, press that button, and the answer is 2, 0, okay? And of course, the last step, you must find the minimum point. Go to G soft, minimum F3, and the answer is negative 1, negative 9, minimum point. You got a 4.1234, join them, and that will be another achieve. Okay, that is the second version of the quadratic graph. The first version is this version, x minus 2 squared minus 1. The second version is factorized x minus 2, x plus 4. Okay, and the last version, when it is not factorized, this is from the NCA 2020, okay? Again, we're first going to delete the graph, delete before we go to the next one, okay? And that is the graph we're going to draw. So now x squared, so x squared plus 2x minus 8, execute, draw, okay? And the graph will appear. So again, to find the uh, x uh, intercept, y intercept, just press F4, and the y intercept is 0, negative 8. That's the y intercept, where the graph cuts the y axis. To find the x intercept or the root, go to G soft, F1 or the root, minus 4, 0. And the second root, just press that button there, it's going to be 2, 0. And again, uh, to find the minimum point, G soft, minimum F3, it's going to be minus 1, minus 8, mi minus 1, minus 9, and that's the minimum point. You got 1, 2, 3, 4 points. Join the graph, and that is how you pass, how you draw a graph in exam. So you can either do manually, which takes a lot of time, by drawing tables, or you can use the graphic calculator. We're going to save you a lot, a lot of time. Okay? So if you have any other question, ask me this video was made because a couple of the subscriber has asked me to do a video on how to draw a graph. I suggest buy a graphic calculator and it will solve you a lot of time, save you a lot of time and make it very, very simple. Have a good day everyone and see you soon. Cheers everyone.